Fashion at its best is at the intersection of numerous artistic disciplines. Haute Couture is of course about the clothes, but it's also about the spectacle. Just as any spectacle is elevated by the inclusion of some Haute Couture, fashion and theatre go hand in hand. And historically both have found expression in the colourful, irreverent world of cabaret. But these days we tend to demand a bit more of a narrative from our entertainment. At Paris's famous Paradis Latin, the main hall is undergoing some much needed renovation. During rehearsals, drills vie for attention with dancers. Choreographer Kamel Ali explains the story he chose to embrace for his modern day cabaret review. When I came for the first time, I was actually doing what you're doing now. I was interviewing members of the team, people who've been working here for years, and I realized that there were people working here who also ended up being on stage. So I thought, why not tell the story of one of these people? I've called this person Marcel. He's part of the theater's team of waiters, and he has this dream of being on stage. So, in this sort of dream sequence, he's carried onto stage by his colleagues. It's a version of the American dream in a way, being able one day to walk the boards. Whether the dream specifically American or not, many secretly harbor a desire to someday bask in the spotlight. Kamel Wally recruited a former Miss France and Miss Universe, Iris Mutenaire, to help him realize his vision. Originally, I wasn't a singer, and I wasn't a dancer. It wasn't what I did, so I spent a lot of time training. And yes, it's been a real new challenge. It's important to me. I want to do it well, and it certainly wasn't easy to begin with. What's the hardest part? The hardest bit was combining the singing and the dancing. Singing on its own, that I can do. Dancing on stage is also doable for me, but as soon as it's both together, there's so much going on, so many things to think of, and it all kind of accumulates, and you get out of breath very quickly. But it's also a challenge to stay concentrated, and that goes for maintaining a sense of purpose too. You need to believe in your part, sing well and dance well too. For the costumes, Kamel Wally chose to work with Livia Stoyanova and Yasen Samuilov, the duo behind the Parisian haute couture label Honora Tu Vu. More used to dressing the likes of Lady Gaga and Nicki Minaj, they're also partial to dressing for the stage. In 2014, they created outfits for a postmodern nutcracker, choreographed by the Belgian Irone Verbruggen. For the Paradis Latin, they only had two and a half months to create 330 costumes that need to last a full five years. The costumes need to be spectacular, but at the same time, they're not meant to be a disguise. The costume should be able to add something. What was important for us was that each dancer was able to make their costume their own, in order to really be able to express themselves. This isn't a cabaret where the women just parade around, they're applauded for doing pretty movements and being attractive. No, this is real dance, there's movement, there's doing floor work, there's jumping, carrying each other. For two hours solid, they don't stop. For the eagle, we used techniques drawn from haute couture embroidery, the sort of thing you might find on a custom-made couture gown. And we also used a plastic modeling technique that you see a lot in the theater. And then there's a contrast with the hair, and it's all worn together as a sort of all-encompassing hood. We don't embroider in the traditional way. We use cobbler's thread, which is much tougher. It's almost the sort of thing you'd use to sew shoes together. You need to double it up. It needs to be solid. Some elements are stuck together and then sewn. Otherwise, there's no way it would last five years. It's a similar story with the footwear. Shoes need to look great, but they also need to be comfortable, safe and hard-wearing. Maison Clairvoy is a Paris-based shoemaker specialized in the theatre. They've made over 200 pairs of shoes for the show. 
This is the Salome sandal. It's a really established model in the world of dance and theatre. It's a 9 cm heel, and this loop is what gives the shoe its name. It's an essential part of the shoe. It's what provides the support. It helps the shoe to really hold the foot from the heel to the joint. And that's what enables the dancer to wear the shoe properly. It's a shoe that you can really dance in. Le Paradis Latin is Paris's oldest cabaret venue. Napoleon Bonaparte was the man who got it built in 1802, and it soon became a place where intellectuals, workers and aristocrats could mix freely. Destroyed by a fire during the 1870 Franco-Prussian War, it was rebuilt by Gustave Eiffel in 1889 for the World Fair. You need to believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, work a lot, give yourself the best chance of succeeding. I think that when you really want something, when you're passionate, it's something you just need to do, and that's how you make it. Le Paradis Latin, the story of a historic venue rising from the ashes, an all-singing, all-dancing beauty queen, and fashion designers flourishing far from the catwalk. Versailles, the Louvre. Mont-Saint-Michel are well-known stars of French heritage, but French genius and France harbors many other hidden treasures. The arts, gastronomy, architecture, as well as nature's wonders. Come along with France 24, discover France's living heritage. From young apprentices to accomplished craftsmen and farmers, to Michelin star sporting chefs, meet these people whose passion for their professions preserve and drive French heritage. You are here on France 24 and France24.com.